All right, so this book we're reading is Holy Mole. I said Mole. It's not Holy Moly. Holy Mole. All right, so let me give you some background on this story. All right, you ready? So this story is inspired by the Mexican folk tradition and explains the origins of mole. So origins of how, how did the mole, how is it like a sauce? How did it start? The popular national dish that combines chocolate with turkey, spices, and nuts. Uh, and so it's explaining, well, it's a tale explaining how it was created. Okay? Kind of like a folk tale. Kind of, you know, yesterday we read a folk tale. Mm. Yes? Okay. All right. So my first question is, you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about, think, think about your favorite food, okay? So first, right now, I want you in your mind. You want to see people, some, some people drooling, okay? I see some people smiling because they are thinking about their favorite food. They're like, yes. Now, here's the next thing I want you to do. And then, yeah, then we have some people being weird. <laughs> I know, I saw that. <laughs> okay, so now that you have in your mind your favorite food, I want you to write down, how do you think it was created? And it's a think. You're going to come up, you probably don't know. And it's okay. I don't, not expect me to know. But I just want you to think, maybe, think about maybe, how do you think it was created? How did you think? And again, it's just a thought. I'm not asking you to, I don't, we're not going to look it up, see if you're right or wrong. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. Okay? That what you're doing? Yes? Okay, do it. Okay. Um, I like popsicles. Okay. And so I know because um, it said that there was a boy and he had a sweet drink and he left his stick in there and it was cold outside and then he forgot to bring it in and then the next morning it became a popsicle. Mm. So again, the question was, um, what do you think simple people mean? And in the sentence it says, he is used to the finest meals. We are simple people. Is your context clue chart in, your, in that notebook? It should be right for most of you. I know my new buddy is not in there. So look at your context clue chart. So you're, you're going to use your context clues to help you figure out the word. What or what the kind of the phrase means. So you have inference, definition, example, antonym, or synonym. I'll read the sentence to you again. He is used to the finest meals. We are simple people. Oh. <laughs> I use antonym because um, it said that he was used to the finest meals. Okay, so what do you think simple people mean? Like they eat like stuff that's simple to make, like a tortilla. Okay, so he said he used the antonym and he thinks it's just something uh, simple to make. And he used antonym because in the sentence it says finest meals. Fran? I think it means they don't, they don't do really creative meals when they need food. And I used um, definition because usually when it says simple, it doesn't mean like super creative. Okay. I think it means like uh, regular, like simple. And the context clues that I use for an antonym. Okay, why do you use antonym? Because it says he likes, uh, like, uh, what, what did it say? The finest meals. Oh, the finest. It said he likes the finest meals, but we are only simple people. Okay. So simple people means it doesn't mean you're poor. It just means you just aren't just very basic, okay? Like you're, you're not gonna do anything fancy, all right? So for me, now I like your context clue, uh, how you use definition and what simple meant and that's how you put together. I didn't think about that. But for me, when I was thinking about what you would probably use, I thought of antonym. And I thought of antonym because they said he's used to the finest meals, and then they're saying, but we are simple. So it'd be the opposite of finest. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good. And I like how you all were using your context clues chart. Those people, my new, my new friends, I will make sure you get one, okay? Here's 
my next question. What does it mean to make a good impression? What does that mean? If you, he's saying we must make a good impression. What does that mean? And then as a bonus, write down real quick when you have, nah, I won't let you do it. Please. I want to do it. When did you have what? Mixed cookies? Okay, listen, write down a time when you had to make a good impression. Bye. If you, okay, wait, wait, we'll do it, we'll do it because some people might not know what it means. Well, I'll ask you after. Okay, we're talking about what <laughs> I know what a lot of people are going to say. I know what Wow, you just really, uh, <laughs> all right, I got you. What do we think good impression means? If you need to make a good impression, what does that mean, friend? Being respectful and not being rude. Okay. Embarrassing. Okay, to, embarrassing. To show people that you can do, you can do something good. So when you're giving a good impression, you want to make somebody, uh, when you're giving a good impression, you want somebody to see the best side of you. Yeah, give it to me. Friends. The church. Church. Can't be in there acting a fool in church, right? Okay? That's a great place where you need to be on your best behavior because everybody watching. Oh. How about you? Restaurant. Oh. Yes. You have to be on your best behavior at the restaurant. You can't. Be some of y'all like to stand up and eat and you know do all that stuff, make a mess. Nope, you can't do that at restaurants. Okay, so you'll be standing up your seats. All right. You got something to say, right? Yeah. Friends. So sometimes when you go over some people's house, you know, some people they real strict about their house. So some of you like to jump on your couch at home, but when you go over Auntie Rosa house, you know you better Okay, hey, um, right? <laughs> yes, restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rico, what does Rico mean? Rico. Rico. What does it mean? Good. 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 Trembling, they carried the stew to the dining room where the viceroy waited. You know what trembling is? Shaking. Shaking. A complete miracle. He could not count on such a luck every day. Milagro. 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 Uh, so, that's the end of the book. So, real quick, if you don't know what mole is, it's a thick sauce that has chocolate and is served over yes. turkey and chicken. Um, it often contains as many thir as okay, 35 ingredients. Mole is prepared in Mexico for special feast days such as weddings and baptisms. The word mole comes from the Aztec word for sauce. Um, though this dish probably originated with the Aztecs, the two most prominent legends give it credit to the Spanish colonial convents and monasteries.